and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be showing the gear I'm wearing as a max level carpenter in for patch 2.5 and the material that I've selected and how to reach the different stat caps and so on. So if we look now at my crafting gear, and as always, hello from Mifri. So with the release of patch 2.5, they released these Lucis weapons or crafting tools, I should say. And I have also ex ex have another video, which I'll link in the description, which explains how to craft the items needed for Lucis. So here we go. Carpenter Lucis, got 180 craftsmanship, 97 control. The artisan specs are the best specs you can get, which you can buy from Talon for crafted items, which I'll um, explain shortly. But let's look at the other gear I have. Now, the good thing about crafting these days is 90% of the crafting gear is actually shared between all crafts. So you have here the artisan apron, the artisan mitts, the dodar belt, the artisan culottes, the artisan sandals, the, moss, the rose gold choker, the moss horn earrings, the militia wristlets, and the two aetherite rings. And they are the maximum Sorry, these are the best pieces of gear you can get, and they are shared between all eight crafts, which is wonderful. So the only things you have to get for each individual class are the Artisan Offhand, which in the Carpenter's case is called the Artisan Claw Hammer, and the Main Hand Tool, whether it's Supro, Artisan, or Lucis, or whatever. So they're the only two. All the rest of the gear is shared. So let me run through each one, explain their melds. So for the chest piece, I've gone for 18 Craftsmanship, which is the maximum. For four control, which isn't the maximum, the maximum control is six, but the maximum CP you can get is plus three. Now, I have to make a choice. It's impossible to hit all three caps for the chest piece, which, so I've decided to go for four control out of six and get the free CP, rather than what some other people do. Uh, will They'll go for, for two rank three controls and have six control out of six and then give up the free CP. But in my case, I would rather have the free CP. And then the artisan mitts. And you can see that I've put two grade three controls for so plus six control, plus four craftsmanship. And that is the cap. So the gloves are incredibly easy to reach the cap with. The dodar belt, I've put plus, you can see, plus three control, four craftsmanship, three CP, and plus two control. So the caps are five control, four craftsmanship, three CP. And that is the maximum for the belt. For the legs, the maximum are 6 control, 3 CP, 1 craftsmanship. And as you can see, they're extremely easy to meld because of the fact that the artisan items come with 3 guaranteed slots. So the only risky one is a plus 1 craftsmanship. And it's exactly the same for the artisan sandals as well. So you can see I've melded the legs and the sandals exactly the same way. And both of them are capped. For the rose gold choker... I've put 4 control, 6 CP, and 4 craftsmanship, which again is the maximum. And thankfully, plus 4 CP material for the guaranteed slot is very, very cheap. They tend to be a, the very cheap material to get your hands on. It depends on the server, of course, from server to server. But that's why I've put the plus 4 CP in the first slot, because only the first slot is guaranteed. The rest of the slots are not guaranteed. And that's also why you can see I've gone for the free grade 3 materials first because they're more expensive and uh, you don't want many of those to blow up and the grade 2 CP and the grade 1 control right for the 4th and 5th slots because by the time you get to the 5th slot you'll barely have a 10% or less chance for it to actually meld so grade 1 materials are very very cheap so they're okay to blow up until they meld properly and it's exactly the same stats for the Mosshorn earrings. So again, 6 CP, 4 control, 4 craftsmanship. And then for the Militia earrings, you want to have... Um, let me see. Um, again, it's exactly the same stats, but uh, in, in my case, I use a grade 3 craftsmanship um, in that one, which is why it's red to say plus 4 craftsmanship. And on here, I've used a grade 2, which is why it's not red. But the cap is still 4 craftsmanship. So again, the caps are uh, 6 CP, 4 control, 4 craftsmanship. And for the rings, I've got 4 control, 4 craftsmanship, 3 CP. I could have 
done these with far, far less materia. I could have just simply used a um, grade 4 control, a grade 3 CP, and a grade 2 craftsmanship. But I melded these months and months and months ago, years ago. So that's the reason that I've melded it this way. Uh, but you could do it in free CP, sorry, in free material rather than five. It's really up to you. And then for the offhand, I've actually gone for seven control and 15 craftsmanship. And the reason I did that was so that I could hit the four star cap uh, before, back when I had the supra tool. So when I had the supra tool, I needed the seven control and the 15 craftsmanship to hit four star without needing any food. Uh, but now that I've got the Lucis, I'm way beyond four stars. So um, I would say that this is the maximum stats you can get right now. And I've got 352 CP unbuffed. You can put CP onto the artisan tool, but then you'll be missing out on control and craftsmanship. So it's really up to you. And then I always use when I'm doing my crafting rotations, the high quality Bula base food, because that will then get me to 395 CP. So that's basically it. That's my guide for the maximum crafting gear that you can get in patch 2.5 and all the melds that I've chosen to do and why and if you have any refinements any other ways you would have melded the gear let me know but I believe that these stats can't be improved unless you use food so yeah so I will try and link as much detail into the description as well I also have a crafting melding spreadsheet which I'll also link in the description which shows all of this broken down per item so you can see which every material uh, slot what I've melded onto each piece of gear so yeah so let me know if you have any suggestions or refinements to this gear and I hope you like it and if you have any questions about crafting or anything just feel free to ask either here uh, as a comment under the video or come and check out the live stream I'm live streaming every single day seven days a week and I'll also link the schedule in the description as well and that's it so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri.